Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. Now let's take it to the next level with some of the designs. Now here, I got interested in this niche. It's, it's a skeleton niche. So it's for people that are into these types of uh, designs. And you can find people that are interested to have designs like these on their, on their phone cases. What if we can create a design that they can place on their phone case just like this? So for instance, I can go to ChatGPT here and let me open up a new chat here. I'm going to get rid of the previous chat and I'm going to say, I am a red bubble seller and I got interested in the vintage. This is of course just a prompt so that I can talk to it. Uh, it doesn't have to be real, but th this is just a prompt. So I'm going to say I got interested in the vintage skeleton designs. Actually, Rockstar skeleton designs. And I just want to basically paste and enter. So because I just want to start the conversation. This is the first prompt. So here it says that sounds uh, like a fun niche. Would you like any specific assistance with your Redbubble store, such as design tips, marketing strategies, or ideas for creating vintage rock star uh, skeleton designs. I'm going to say I am looking for ideas to create such designs. And I'm going to hit enter, in which case it's going to go and start giving me the design or designs. And so here, design concepts, skeleton playing electric guitar, a full skeleton band on a stage, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to copy this right here. And I'm going to go to Leonardo AI. Now, inside of Leonardo, I'm going to switch the size to um, mobile size. And I'm going to go right here and paste my design or my design prompt and click generate. At the same time, I could try to generate another one. This one here, for example. I could paste it in and we could go ahead again and say, Right, details like this. Da, 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 da. Okay. Vintage style album or this one. Let's copy it, paste it here, generate. And at the same time, I'm gonna ask it now generate the first design. The size should be mobile phone size. The size of the design that is. When it comes to these types of designs for uh, for phone cases, we're better off if you use Leonardo. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of designs going. So this one looks really cool. And we have another one, this one as well. Okay, so let's say you like one of them. And let's say you want to see how this maybe is gonna look on a phone case. Now, first off, you need to download one of them. Now we have a couple more. These can also do really well. We have other ones. These are really cool. Okay, so for example, these ones, they can really do well on a phone case. Uh, skeleton rock stars. Let me download this, for instance. And th there's this website called Placeits, which basically can help you to see what this is going to look like. So inside of Placeit, if you look for something such as a phone case design, it's going to give you a lot of mockups for phone cases that we can use just so that we can see how our designs are going to look on a phone case. Now, actually, what I'm looking for is not a phone case design. I'm looking for a phone case mockup. So instead of uh, typing phone case design here, I'm going to say phone case mockup. And it's going to give me a couple of phone case mockups that I can basically select from. And starting with this one, which looks really cool. So I'm going to click it. And there you go. We have a lady holding a phone with a phone case. And I'm going to click that and then edit. When you edit, you have the option to upload a design. Now they tell you the size, uh, but pretty much I think that 9 by 16 is going to work perfectly in this application since it's pretty much the same size as any mobile phone. All mobile phones now are pretty much the same size. They're all long and, you know, the rest. So um, they're, they pretty much uh, made it one size fits all. Now I'm going to click here on design and just click upload. 
from my device. I'm going to start by uploading one design. There, there it is. And you will see that now it uploads. You can see that it doesn't fit the entire phone, which is why you're going to have to crop until it fits and then click crop here. And then you'll see now the lady is holding a phone and you can get an idea about how this design is going to look like. If you want to see more designs, then just click to, on X and then upload another one to check how this is going to look like on the other hand. So I'm going to upload the latest one. Okay, and there you go. And I'm just going to increase the size of this and then crop. And you can see how this also is going to look like on a phone. And it really does look incredible. Okay, so pretty much this is how it looks. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to uh, here. And I want to check this guy's store. Let's go to his store. Let me check if we can find some interesting things. Well, they do have a lot of interesting things. 280 designs. Quite a lot of them. And they don't, they, they don't just uh, sell those designs. They sell really, really interesting niche they picked, you know. They really, really picked an inst interesting niche. And for the most part, I can tell that this person is literally using AI to create these types of, uh, of designs, right? Mainly, uh, Midjourney can absolutely do this. Victorian pig. Interesting. So he focused on the an animal niche where he makes animal wear costumes, you know, and uh, it, it seems that uh, he's doing really good because he's ranking really, really high in on Redbubble. He's got a lot of designs, and so you can do the math. Say that he only generates um, $1 per design every day. If he, can, if he can generate $1 from every design every day, then uh, that's 288. So... Now, of course, there's going to be some designs that sell a lot more than others. But if you do the math and uh, let's say it's $1 per design, then typically what's going to happen is that um, this person is going to be doing really good for himself. Okay, so now let's go back to ChatGPT to check its own version. You can see ChatGPT's version. Uh, I would like to see how this one is also going to look. So I'm going to go... Now, I, I'm not going to download this image because it's going to download as a WebP file. So I'm going to have to copy it and then go to canva.com and then basically click create design and click custom size and switch this to um, 9 by 16 inches. Click create because as I explained earlier is that um, images from DAL-E, if you click save, they will download as a WebP file which is a good file format, but it's not friendly for what it is that we're trying to achieve right now. And certainly it cannot be imported into Canva. So I'm going to click Control V because I already copied the image back from ChatGPT like this, copy, and there it is. So I'm going to set the image to the background and I'd like to adjust it. So I'm gonna go and click here, auto adjust. And you can see now it's starting to look a little bit better. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the darkness. I'm going to add some sharpness, clarity, and some saturation. And you can see that it's looking really cool. Okay. Now, if you want to take it, take it a step further, here's what you can do. We could detach the image from the background, then duplicate the image. Now we have two. And what we could do, we could take the, this image and basically place it in the background. And we can take the other one and remove the tra or decrease the transparency of it so that it's less transparent. And then we can place it on top, but it mustn't be exactly on top because otherwise this is not going to do the effect. We want to move it slightly to achieve that glitch, you know, to make it look like this. So that's also something you can do if you're interested. Now here's the thing, I think it looked better. So I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm just gonna say phone or Skeletus. I'm gonna name it Skeletos. I'm going to download this design and let's check out how this is gonna look on a phone case from Placeit. So if I were to click right here, move, 
I'm going to upload, upload from my device. There you have it. And then upload the Skeletus design. There you go. All right, let's check it out. So I'm just going to have to crop, crop, and this is how it's going to look like. I can say it looks wonderful. And if you're ready or if you're willing to use this design for, let's just say, a social media post or something such as this, all you need to do is to click download and you could download this to your uh, computer, right, which can be used later for marketing, marketing um, efforts. And so I hope that you have enjoyed this lecture so far. Um, go ahead and generate as many phone cases as possible. Now, of course, there's more products we can create. Let me go to Redbubble. We could create a bunch of more products. For example, wall art. We could be interested in creating some interesting wall art. And so in the next video, let's go ahead and check it out. <music>